Good evening. Thank you for joining us. I'm Greg Glover. Cindy's off tonight. Police or people rather in Bledsoe County attended a community forum this evening where they heard from a gubernatorial candidate Carl Dean and a representative for his opponent Bill Lee. Channel 3's Caitlin Chastain was there. Caitlin, tell us where was Bill Lee? Well, Bill Lee was un unable to make it due to prior commitments that were scheduled before this event was scheduled, according to the person who spoke on his behalf, Representative Senator Janice Bowling. Now tonight, the, the discussion happened here at the Bledsoe County High School. Both Dean and Senator Bowling spoke on issues that impact rural Tennessee. There was a big focus on the opioid epidemic, broadband in royal communities, and questions about whether or not either candidate would commit to a four-lane highway in Bledsoe County, both saying if it was promised to the citizens, they should get it. Both Dean and Senator Bowling on Lee's behalf say rural broadband is something that would also need attention immediately. Dean answered questions first and during multiple responses, Senator Bowling said she agreed with his answers. Another big topic was privatization. Both say they don't agree with the privatization of prison systems or state parks. Essential public services should be offered by the government and should not be uh, contracted out or privatized. I think when there are services the state provides, the state needs to provide the services. Both also say undoing privatization would be difficult, specifically in the prison system. They also discussed TN Ready. They both say the statewide testing needs to change. Right now, I'm live in Bledsoe County. Caitlin Chastain, Channel 3 Eyewitness News. Caitlin, thank you. We checked early voting numbers today in Bledsoe, Bradley, Whitfield, and Hamilton counties. and. So far, 375 people have voted in Bledsoe County. Election officials say that's more voters than they saw last election in August. More than 8,000 people have voted in Bradley County. About 3,500 in Whitfield and more than 25,000 voters have gone to the polls to early vote so far in Hamilton County.